So, <coughs> this is our hadith for today. And we see that the proper behavior and the good characteristic of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he offered the food because the man approached the Prophet while he was eating. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had invited him and say, share, sit and eat with me. So the man informed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he is fasting. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had informed him that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had make exemption or give a break to the traveler people concerning the Salah. That any Salah that is four rak'at, that you make it short, i.e. you make it two rak'at. Okay? And also, the Siyam, if you choose so, you have the right to break your fast. And another group of people or type of people is what? The pregnant woman and the breastfeeding woman. So, <coughs> we see that here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making special exemption to a woman who is pregnant and a woman who is breastfeeding. And this is the reason that this hadith in this booklet because it's related to women and how Islam related to women in even every day uh, activity. How that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take in consideration the hardship and the difficulty that she goes with it while she is pregnant. And also the breastfeeding woman because the child being breastfed is taken from the milk of the mother and this may it weaken her. So Islam is concerned about women and Islam takes women in consideration. It's not like the enemies of Islam from other beliefs as well as some of weak Muslims and some crazy women. They're always talking about that Islam did not give them the rights. Because the rights to them is what you walk almost half naked, this will be freedom. And if Islam tell you cover, so Islam is not good for them. So we see here in general now the hadith, number one, that when a person is eating and get visitors, that out of the proper behavior of Islam that you invite them to share the food. So hospitality is part of Islam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had told us in Hadith, Man kana yu'minu billah wal yawm al-akhir fal yukrim daifa. That whosoever believes in Allah in the day of judgment, let him do hospitality for his guest. So taking care of the guest, try to share with him, welcoming him, give him a seat, this part of Islam. So you see how the Islam goes with you in even your daily life, the way how he's supposed to behave and act. So here is the Prophet وسلم, with his beautiful example, he invites the man to eat. But the man informed the Prophet that he was fasting. And here is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
who tried to inform the man about the proper way of being a fasting and you've been invited to eat, especially if it's voluntarily fasting. Okay? Only for voluntarily fasting. But you don't be during Ramadan and you are not traveler and you are home and after this you say that somebody invite me so I answer the invitation because the Prophet وسلم, told us to answer the invitation. No, we're talking about optional fasting. This is one thing. Here is the Prophet وسلم, in case the person is not educated that we assume sometimes that the people doesn't know so we pass them the information so the Prophet وسلم, told him that indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made exemption to the traveler person to make his salah two instead of four Allah give us exemption if you could not find water to make ablution make ablution, dry ablution, tayammum and all these things it shows us the easiness of Islam and the facilitation of Islam and how Islam taking people in consideration to do what is right okay so they giving them a break so also for the traveler person when he make his salah half this is for Dhuhr for Asr and for Isha you did not make Maghrib lesser than three you don't make Fajr lesser than two but Dhuhr Asr and Isha you make it two also Islam give you the choice of uh, combining the prayer when you traveler all right uh, I will appreciate the person who is you or whatever he gives this image uh, of heads please kindly if you can stop I will appreciate this FR okay I appreciate if you stop you understand or you want to be funny okay this is a class and out of respect that you can leave the people who are studying or learning okay doesn't matter if you're muslim or non-muslim out of respect you understand we appreciate if you do not do this because you disturb me i'm not reading from a book i'm talking from my mind so you are disturbing me all right thank you so islam is concerned about making things easy for people could not find water to make ablution and ghusl Islam say you can make tayammum, ablution, instead of ablution. A person traveling can combine his prayer. A person who is sick, not to fast. Okay? A woman who is pregnant or breastfeeding, she can break her fast due to this excuse. But those people have to make up for these days after Ramadan. Uh, um, okay? So we have to take these things in to see the beauty of Islam and the concern of Islam about removing Allah did not make any hardship in you in Islam. Okay? And how Islam take women in consideration. These things is very important to learn and also Allah loves it for us to take these exemptions and utilize them 
Because Allah try to make things easy on us. يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْوُسْرِ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرِ Allah attends all kind of facilities for you. Allah doesn't put burden in you. And anything in Islam you think is a burden in you, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to fix you and Allah want you to get it straight and to be in a better condition. Allah want you to be stronger. All right? So Islam is good. Islam for men and women. Islam to take people in consideration. And this man who narrated the hadith or was involved in this hadith, he wished that he had answered the call of the Prophet ﷺ to eat with him. Okay? Because this is a great honor for you to be with the Prophet ﷺ on the same ma'idah and to eat together. But it happened. Anyway, he told him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had removed this hardship from the traveler person and also the fasting is exemption for the traveler and the woman who is breastfeeding or that she is pregnant. All right? So this is our hadith for today. And again, we learn that Islam care for women and treat them as part of the ummah and makes facilities for them. All right, uh, I want to bring your attention, everybody, today, and finish with the hadith for today. Uh, I had bought something on my Facebook page. I hope that all of you try to make an effort to go to see it. And Sister Layla, I came to to connect to your site and I came two or three times, but you were so involved, you understand, in your lecture and about these women that they want this and not that. And so I had, I didn't know how to stop or to tell you them and say, so please forgive me. But Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, you're smart enough, you found a way to get to me, but I was trying to get onto the side. Nevertheless, I saw something disturb me today on TikTok. And Alhamdulillah, Allah bless me that I was able to transfer it to my uh, Facebook page so you can see it. Basically, these people, Amazon, Amazon, this store or factory or whatever you call it, that I hope you understand what I'm talking about. They are selling a rug and pieces of craft design which has pictures of Quran, Zikri beads, and maybe some writing of the Quran. And this is supposed to be a cover seat to the toilet and the tank, and another piece that when you sit in the toilet, you put your foot on it, and has image of Quran or verses from the Quran. And this is a disturbance. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that مَنْ رَأَى مِنْكُمْ مُنْكَرًا فَلْيُغْيِرْهُ بِيَدِي فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِلِسَانِي فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِقَلْبِهِ وَذَلِكَ أَضْعَفُ الْإِمَانِ The Prophet ﷺ says that any of you, any one of you, see something objectionable, okay, it is a teaching of Islam. Let him change it with his hand. If you have the ability and the power and the means to change the evil with your hand, do it. If you could not, 
speak against it. If you could not speak against it. If you could not even speak against it, at least hate it in your heart. So my dear respected brothers and sisters, I want each one of you, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Muhammad an no way. Maybe somebody steals the name. So I'm asking you that we put our hands together today and make some sacrifice and boycott Amazon and to tell all our friends, Facebook, fake place, whatever it is about this. So these people have to respect. And these people, they don't respect anything. They accept the dollar. They care for the dollar. They, ex they, care, they worship the dollar. Okay? So if we put our hands together and we don't not support or buy from them for a couple of weeks and also we send them messages to know this and we invite in all the Muslims everywhere that not to be purchasing from them. This part of our deen to change the evil. And if we could not change it with our hands, let's speak against it. So today I'm asking you, this is my duty. And like I said, I was able to take the copy and put it in my Facebook so you can see it yourself before you act. So make sure that you see it first to make sure the news I'm giving it to you is correct. And the segment is in Arabic, but there is a translation in English. And you can see the pictures. Picture of the Quran, picture of the Zikr beads. It's not does not mean that I agree with Zikri beads. There is nothing called Zikri beads. Okay? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Sunnah that you make your Zikr on your finger. Uh, okay? But anyway, so this Islamic symbols, the Quran, the Zikri beads, the writing of La ilaha illallah or things like this, and they did not find anything else except to do mat for the bathroom that you sit on it or you put your foot and your shoes in it. This is a big insult. And we have to do something about it. We are not understand, going to go and get guns and things like this, but at least we can write email to those people, to their factories, and to show the uh, uh, that we disappointed from this and that we boycott them for a couple of weeks so they can respect things related to Al Islam and the Muslims. Jazakumullah khairan. And I'm finished today with the segment here and I leave the rest of the time for comments or correction. Jazakumullah khairan. So I try with. Uh, again, I try with uh, the clubhouse. I was not able to get in. I try with the Zoom to Sister Layla, but it didn't work with me. I was able to get in, but she was busy with the, the class and the subject was so hot, so maybe she didn't see me. But I try to understand that I am committed and I try to do my work in time to do the best I can so please forgive me but Alhamdulillah that we have enough people to and I would like to work to be always in time because Islam teaching us to be to teach us discipline okay so please forgive me if I for my short comment today if you did not see me in your sight or in your room is not my intention and I leave the mic now in case anybody wants to say something or ask ask you something thank you
ننشي سو زوم ان يوتيوب ان تويتر يس اي نو بات اي واز نوت ايبل تو جيت اني واي وي توك اباوت ات ليتر اوكي اي تراي اي ديد ماي بيست ابريشيت ات جزاك الله خير اورايت اني بادي ان يوتيوب اني بادي ان